Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of the introduction to Linux video. I'm going to show you right now um, my Linux Mint 14, call, code name Nadia, and this is the Cinnamon version, which runs on um, GNOME 3.0, GNOME 3. So, um, okay, here you have the start, or actually it's the menu. I changed it to make it look kind of windowy. Um, here you have any applications that you might need need to use. Um, all right, you could pin them to duck down here so it's quicker access. Uh, let's say you're a DJ, you like to mix software or mix music. So there's a great uh, mixing program called Mix. It's comparable to Tractor. And let's say you like doing video ed editing. There is a program called AVIDM Mux. Great program. Um, you could load the videos and do your you know, your thing right there. Uh, let's say you like listening to Pandora. You just download Pythos. Open it up. Have your preloaded stations that you preloaded on online. Pretty instant. Yes, Jesus. All right. Here is the file system in case you need to get into any of the files, modify them, or see stuff on there. Um, see your downloads check them out all right now there's there are pretty nice websites out there they could help you modify the look of your operating system uh, let's say all right if you're not sure which OS to download from Linux there's a web page called DistroWatch it explains everything. I would recommend either Ubuntu or Linux Mint or any other uh, Ubuntu based distribution because they're very easy. Uh, graphical user interface is there and um, pretty much works out of the box. If you're not familiar with it you could always Google or uh, start page or you know look for videos on um, YouTube that's that's you know basically how I, I do my research when I'm not sure how to, something works just find it on the web um, great website for Ubuntu distributions is new noobs lab noobs lab dot com uh, anything anything about applications that come out for Ubuntu based distributions are on here it shows you reviews how to install something from the terminal how to uh, how to modify your windows and you know how you can download packages for different looking icons and different looking windows and teams and it's plenty of stuff on there um, yeah so awesome and then uh, there's also gnomelook.org that helps you uh, to change your themes icons and you know add different eye candy to your desktop and, and so on and so forth it's it's pretty pretty awesome looking things among others um, let's all right let's quit this let's say you want to update something it will show you here with a little eye and it level install updates and downloads it installs it I don't want to do it right now because um, it takes a lot of processing power last time I tried it while running screencasting it froze on me so don't want to do it again um, alright mm. 
LibreOffice, you have you know, Writer, Excel, Spreadsheets. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as Microsoft Office, but it's free. Document Writer, it's like PDF, um, Acrobat Reader, or Document Viewer, you know. Um, Home Bank is like you know, Microsoft uh, Money. Pretty neat applications there. Uh, Pigeon is a messenger, allows you to send and receive, you know, messages like on on AIM or Bonjour, Facebook Messenger, Gadu Gadu, Google Talk, ICQ, MSN Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Zephyr. Um, it's pretty pretty awesome. All right. You got Skype for communication. Um, Dropbox is pretty awesome. Like you could share files with different computers, and pretty much just drop it in, and you can find it on any other desktop or a friend's desktop, and share files. It's pretty awesome. Uh, great, you know. We install different looking, you know, icons with weathers, you know, different ducklets and. It's highly cu customable and great security features. It's fast, reliable, doesn't crash often. Uh, you know, we have multimedia applications. Uh, if you like downloading stuff, there's Transmission BitTorrent client. Mm, lets you download over di BitTorrent. Um, what else? Oh yeah. If you're into CAD, there's, you know, you download a Libre CAD. It's a great program for download, you know, running CAD, computer aided drafting. There's also a um, program for, like, if you like schematics and different, uh, you know, uh, diagrams, there's a program called DIA. And Let's you make diagrams. Let's say for networking or schematics, anything. So there's a little bit of anything for er anybody out there. For programming, you have, I mentioned before, Bluefish Editor. It's for uh, making websites. There's also others for, um, for programming. Um, whatever I'm not really into that but if you like it if that floats your boat then um, you know I could download it oh, also great networking tools um, if you like hacking or like ethical hacking or um, you could download Wireshark and um, network tools and all kind of great applications you know it, education software you know let's say Stellarium you, you like looking at stars constellations um, it lets you look you know change it to night or day or you know, location and, um, it's pretty cool Let's see. Mm, I want to play with it right now it's not configured but yeah right there it's night oh yeah Let's see there's constellations you could change the time time and date and to see where the sun and the stars are and the moon correlation you know to each other astronomy software pretty awesome pretty cool all right all right um let's see what awesome what other great programs i have up here let's see you can switch um workspaces in case you have one cluttered and doing something, you could just go to another one. Um, there's a program called um, uh, what is it? Compass Fusion or Compass right now. You could uh, make it's more eye candy actually. You could do a cube and rotate it and splash screen like you know make window windows wobble and. Um, it's pretty fun. No, I didn't set it up right now, but it's 
pretty fun to experiment with. Uh, Bible software. Um, CD burning, DVD burning, uh, games, if you're into that. Now they have uh, the Steam Engine. It actually lets you play 3D games. If you have a you know good 3D video card, it lets you do that. Um, online games. Mm, Mozilla Firefox, you know. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, drop me in a message and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Thank you and enjoy. Bye.